before we get started, um, I'm going to get a floor to Chris because uh, he did predict correctly out of everybody in the chat that Devin Haney would take that loss. Talk to the talk to the fans, to the bench mob fam and the bench mob gang. What was the thought process in choosing Garcia? Like, how did you know he was actually going to win? Honestly, man, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I've been following Ryan Garcia since way, way back when, when he originally signed with Jim Shark. I, you know, I, I discovered him on on social before he was really blowing up in, in the boxing scene, and it, it wasn't any, you know rhyme or reason as to to why I picked him to, to win against Haney, but I've, I've seen him fight and I've seen him step into the ring. That kid has no fear. He stepped into the ring with tank and, and despite him, him losing, like he, he still put up a good fight and you, he got clean shots off on, on tank. And I don't know, there's just something about, about Ryan, like watching, watching him and, and knowing what he's capable of. His last big loss was to tank. Then he came back after breaking his wrist, having surgery had the fight against whoever he fought before Haney, won that fight. This was too big of a fight where all eyes were going to be on him, where he still had a lot to prove, right? Because all people remember is that he lost the tank. No one remembers that that fight, that he his get-back fight, right, to get this fight with Haney. Um, and no one really cared about that. So I, I just couldn't, you know, see him coming out here and, and losing. And despite people thinking he was going crazy on social, um, you know, I, I just I, I knew it was antics at the end of the day because you 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 seen how he acted before the fight with Tank, and then you see how he acted now. It was totally erratic, right? And I knew that that wasn't his true personality because you've already saw what his true personality was. But um, Ryan's a good fighter, man. He he proved that. He's shown that he he can hang in there with the best of them. I'm I'm, I'm excited to see hopefully an, another rematch with Tank. I still think you know that that's going to be an uphill climb for him. Tank Tank's a dog. Tank is a dog. He's the best best fighter currently out right now face of boxing and um anyone that goes up against him is, is gonna have a, a tough battle but you know that's that's where my my pick came from is just is just seeing ryan's body of work in the past and kind of knowing what he was capable of they're never gonna fight again though him and tank i mean that's what i think just because tank's not gonna come up to his weight class um, and ryan's not gonna do that again where he has to lose all that weight to go back to fighting tank so I don't see a middle ground for them to fight again. Money talks. Money talks. I think I think that's that's where the commonality and common ground is going to come into play. Because I agree with you. I think I think you know Tank has a re- Tank reason is I already won, right? But like Ryan's reason was um, I was dehydrated for that fight. You know what I mean? I, I fought at the lowest weight I ever fought at. You know, it, it, he wasn't used to fighting at that weight. So I'd love to see Tank come up and, and meet Ryan halfway at, at one forty four. Uh, because I think what Ryan Ryan's going to 145 now and he's going to stay there. He said, um, "Yeah, man, we we got to we got to." And the people want it, Miles. I think that's the thing too. Like, it, it's ten people, pounds. People ten are going to dictate who. Say it again. Ten pounds is a lot of weight for a fight. Yeah, come yeah, it it is a lot of weight, but it, it it it's I don't know, man. I think that's 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 the big fight that people want to see. No, you're right. I mean, I want to see that too, but. Especially if there's a big payday in it for both of them. Yeah, but then like, then there'll be excuses like, "Oh, I was I was too heavy. Like, I'm not used to fighting at that weight. I was feeling sluggish during the like middle rounds and all that stuff." Tank will say that if he loses, there's always going to be excuses, and then same thing after the fight, fans are going to say the same thing. So yeah, I I think his best bet is to fight Haney again, and you know, actually win the belt this time, and then move on to fighting. Fighters at that weight class, like it's, it's not a knock against him. Like we already know that maybe if he had, didn't have that rehydration clause in his contract against Tank, maybe things would have gone differently. But um, I mean, he can't change it. He can't change it. He's still got a loss on his record. But I mean, he moves if he moves forward from here and beats the guys in his weight class where he can actually compete. Like he looked healthy in that fight. Like yeah, he looked at the two fight pictures from. The tank picture or tank fight, and then this one against Haney, that looks like what he should be fighting at. So um, why why mess that up? And I, my opinion, there's no reason to to fight Tank. That's fair. Uh, all I'm gonna say, all I'll say before we dip is I'm sick and tired of watching these fights and seeing these defensive boxers hide, hide their faces all fight. 
and and just try to collect points. So I love seeing Ryan Garcia go out there and swing for the fences. That was awesome. That was fun to watch. You don't see that nearly enough in boxing. You want you want boxing to be something that's popular again and I guess mainstream or as popular as it used to be back in the day in the 80s and the 90s and all that stuff. That's what you need. You need more boxers that are, are more free swingers, and that was fun to watch. So I enjoyed that. I you know what that was, though? And Tone, excuse my language, that was a good old-fashioned ass-whooping. And you, you, could tell, you could tell there was, there was some bad blood there. Bill, 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 hey, yeah, funny. Yeah, Bill, Bill Haney out here talking and talking his talk all, all leading up to the fight. And, and Ryan heard all that noise. And, and you know, De- De- Devin looked like a shell of himself. He, he was just out there to be out there, it looked like. To your point, Greg. Yeah. Devin looks like a clown, that's for sure. I also think that with Haney, he was getting frustrated because the defensive tactics that Ryan was doing where he's like turning his back to him and you're not supposed to hit somebody behind that area. Like, how are you supposed to fight like that? It might have been a different fight if, you know, Ryan fought straight up, but it was a smart tactic because the ref didn't really stop it. Like, if you're going to enforce the rules, like you don't want to hit out, hit while you're in the clutch, which he lost the point for that, you should do the same for turning your back to a fighter. Like, clearly there's rules in place for a reason. And, uh, I mean, it helped Ryan in the worst way for Haney because he couldn't really hit him. And, like, while he's trying to gain points, I mean, how can I gain any body shots if – that's why you saw that one – point in the fight where he was just pounding his ribs in the back because it's like yo turn around and face me like a a man but you know, we'll see i i anticipate the next fight being a rematch for the belt miles from bench mob calls ryan garcia a girl i can see the headlines already right right turn saying turn around and face me like a man is crazy when when garcia walked haney down but I, I, get I get where you're coming from. It's not like Ryan did that the whole fight, though. We can move on, though. Hey. <laughs> Miles, like, he did it all. He did it a lot. He did it for the majority of the fight, but... <laughs> he didn't do it a lot, but... <laughs> I wasn't rooting for Haney anyways. I, I enjoyed the way that Ryan fought the fight. I, I don't care that Haney lost. 